Nike Harley Davidson listened to the people and stepped their game up and came out with this awesome 2021 Harley Davidson Sportster S that not only looks awesome and cool, but it has the performance to match and a lot of fantastic features and actually a price that's not too expensive. But I'm going to tell you in this video, I'm going to give my opinion on this bike and I'll let you know if I'm going to get this bike or not. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today so many harley davidson riders i see out here don't wear gear you want to wear that gear to keep you from having an effed up day if you want to get some great gear like i have like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe my sea armor jacket that flows a ton of air links are in the description and comment section of this video <laughs> Oh, I love this bike. <laughs> Woo, that feel good, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. We out here. We out here back in Ohio. You know what? A lot of you guys are like cycle cruiser. You got to get this new Sportster S, man. This is right up your alley. It's got all that torque. Uh, awesome looking bike even though this harley davidson sportster s looks sick and has a ton of power and everything there are some cons to it uh, but first off the pros you got to mention all the great stuff not only is this bike fast but it's got beauty it's a good looking bike it's modeled after a flat track you know dirt bike i would tell you guys that this new harley davidson sportster s is the bike that Indian should have made with the Indian FTR 1200 because that Indian FTR 1200 the prototype looked very similar to this bike and that's what I thought the Indian was gonna be and I was all excited I was gonna get it and everything man but then they came out with something totally different it just doesn't look as cool Harley Davidson came out with the with the cool looking bike that we want man and it's got that new Max Revolution 1250T engine that's borrowed from the, their Adventure bike. But the Adventure bike that Harley Davidson has with this engine puts out 150 horsepower, 94 pounds feet of torque. As where this engine, the same engine on this Sportster S, is putting out 121 horsepower and 94 pounds feet of torque. Same torque, lower horsepower, but they tuned it with a lot of power down low and in the mid range for what you want out here on the street for that stoplight the stoplight beat your sport bike friend on your cruiser bike you know what i'm saying and that's what we want in a cruiser like this also this bike has a six speed sequential transmission and a slew of lean angle sensitive rider aids that could be controlled via a beautiful display and also uh this bike is lightweight at 502 pounds wet dare i say it with harley davidson having a, a, a pretty lightweight cruiser that is awesome man and also uh this bike does have brembo brakes but it only comes with a single disc front brembo brake but they are combined abs and it does this bike does have rider aids and it has combined you know abs brakes so the front is linked to the rear so that kind of helps out and having the different levels of engine braking so you put it on stronger engine braking that kind of helps you out but they really should have put dual front disc on this bike man <laughs> i don't know why they didn't do they i guess they're trying to keep up keep with the look also this bike only has two inches of suspension uh travel in the suspension um which is a negative but the front and rear suspension is adjustable and they do have those fat tires on there that kind of absorb some of the impact on the imperfections in the road also this bike comes with forward uh, controls but you can get mid controls for of course more money seven hundred dollars i would go with the mid controls because that would help mitigate some of the you know the bumps that you get from these potholes in the cleveland streets and other streets and other places with that that low suspension travel you know so definitely get the mid controls with this bike i would definitely Another con with this bike is that it can only do a 34 degree lean angle, which isn't bad for a Harley Davidson Cruiser, but 
It's direct competition to Ducati XD Avail, which I used to own, can do a 40 degree lean angle. And I'll tell you, I never scrape pegs on that bike. Another con that I see with this bike, but having the pipes that high up like that can put extra heat on you. But I'm sure maybe there'll be an aftermarket part or a shield or something you can put on there or something. I don't know. They can help, uh, help change that. But for me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because I don't do super long rides. I, I do maybe about a three-hour stint, three, five-hour stint or something like that. I'm not traveling across the country on my motorcycle. And this is not a bike you'd want to do, do that on anyhow. You know, that's not a touring bike. This is a bike to have fun out here in the city and do a little bit of country cruising, uh, but nothing crazy long. Uh, another con that I see with this bike is the price at $15,000. Um, that's not bad though, because Harley Davidson, I mean, they usually would, I mean, they're, they're usually talking like 18, 20 plus thousand dollars for Harley Davidson. I know they have cheaper bikes, but. To be fair to Harley Davidson, the Ducati X Avail, which is the direct competition to the Sportster S, is $20,000. That's $5,000 more than the Sportster S. But then again, the X Avail has 40 more horsepower. But then again, the Sportster S has 40 less pounds. So the Harley Davidson is not priced that bad. And the Sportster S is prettier. 15 is not bad for Harley Davidson. Of course, they're going to put that like, you know, probably like a $3,000 surcharge for just using the name. <laughs> Which Harley Davidson markets their name very, very well. Probably the best marketing ever for motorcycles. I mean, you got Harley, everybody wearing, people that don't even ride Harley's got Harley Davidson t-shirts, stickers on their cars, Harley Davidson edition, F-150s and everything else, man. But one thing I will say with Harley Davidson's is that uh, they have great fit and finish on their bikes. They don't put cheap crap on their bikes, man. Okay, you know, unlike the, you know, some of the Japanese bikes, they're putting plastic parts, you know, fake chrome parts and stuff. They put good parts on their bikes, solid parts. Like I said, great fit and finish, even though I trust the reliability on Japanese bikes better. But um, Harley Davidson is getting better. And that brings me to another con for me on getting this bike. It's a first year model bike. Of course, you're gonna be, you're gonna be spending the time at the dealership dealing with recalls. Uh, you know, I bought the Ducati XD Avail S in the past, which I bought it a year later, and I still had to take it in for a recall, and it had a bunch of recalls on that one. Um, you're always going to have problems with first-year bikes because they got to iron, they got to smooth out the problems. Um, you, you always want to pick it up maybe the second or third year when they've done all the recall work on it and made the corrections on it. But I may just go ahead and get this first-year bike anyhow, man just for the channel and share the Harley Davidson experience because I never owned a Harley Davidson and I think this would be a fantastic bike to get me in the door at Harley Davidson and it's an authentic Harley Davidson unlike the V-Rod which there's a lot of people out there that speak ill of the V-Rod because it's not truly a, a, a full uh, Harley Davidson product. I think the V-Rod is one of the best Harley Davidsons they ever made man but this bike could be the bike to to be awesome man i don't know we'll see uh i i think it's fantastic they the engine looks beautiful the i mean the bike looks gorgeous except for those uh those pipes don't look that great on the side i don't know maybe they can put you can get an aftermarket option in the future to kind of pretty that up but otherwise that bike sits sick man look at the stance when people are riding that bike it, it looks sick it really does look sick i, I like it i really do and uh one of the most beautiful cruises out there in my opinion except for the pipes but i'm seriously considering that bike man I, I want you guys to leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about that new harley davidson sportster s i will soon as i'm able to schedule a test ride guaranteed i will because i'm actually i'm putting this at the top of my list to buy guys um that would be a great addition with this supermoto and like i told you this is the most fun motorcycle i've ever owned ever in my life man this thing is amazing but i can't treat this as my everyday bike because it requires so much maintenance i have to do oil changes every three three rides and uh you know after 100 hours i'm gonna have to hold, do a whole full top end rebuild on this bike probably can go longer than that but i'll do it just to keep my bike fresh but anyways guys uh, hit thumbs up it really helps my channel i appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe to my all one motorcycle channel 
And also make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.